Is your internet fast enough for streaming? Consumer Reports has no financial relationship with advertisers on this site. Despite the high price you pay for internet service, it's easy to find yourself frustrated by slow speeds. That's especially if your internet seems slow, it's time to make sure you're getting the speed you need, both from your internet service provider and the WiFi setup in your home. But the first step, broadband speeds are expressed in megabits per second MBPs, or how much data travels to your home each second. A typical email, even if you are paying for fast internet service, the speed you get can fluctuate, with the speed dropping at peak viewing times, such as right after work. During these times, services such as Netflix may compensate for a slower connection by downgrading the video quality you see. And if most of your broadband networks of just a few years ago would have sputtered and stalled if faced with today's consumers and their appetite for a Netflix and other streaming companies say your internet service needs to run at least 5 MBPs for streaming high-definition shows and movies, but that's sufficient for only one user at a time. As you can see from, that means many homes with multiple active streamers will need internet service that can provide at least 50 MBPs speed. The good news is that networks are getting faster. The average download upload speeds also jumped to more than 32 MBPs, according to OAKLA. That matters if both those average speeds are high, but many of us still use ISPs that deliver slower broadband, or we just pay for a lower tier of service. And if your household has a separate 4K video streaming in every room, things may slow down considerably no matter how fast a connection you have to your ISP. You can check your speed using SpeedyTEist or another website. Space out the tap. Assuming the broadband speed coming into your home is satisfactory, there are other reasons you may be experiencing slow service. One culprit might WiFi technology advances steadily, with each new generation providing better capabilities. For instance, the new standard brings higher speeds, especially in situations where lots of users are online at the same time says Rich Fisco, who leads router testing at Consumer Reports. However, the current standard is called 802.11ac. If you rent a router, if WiFi reception in your home is spotty, try moving the router to a more central location. Also move it away, if you believe that interference is a problem use a, from a microwave oven or a cordless phone system you'll consider using a dual band router that can operate on both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequencies. Switching to the higher, if you think your wireless connection is to blame, try using a wired connection to see whether performance improves. Another way to ice, finally, if you're having intermittent problems, try rebooting your modem and wireless routers by unplugging the power connections for about 30 seconds. Sometimes simple consumer reports has no financial relationship with advertisers on this site. Consumer Reports is an independent, non-profit organization that works side by side with consumers to create a fairer, safer, and healthier world. CR does not